So we're going to start standing today. So go ahead and find ankles and knees in line with hip sockets. Palms facing forward, so we're in mountain pose here. Let's close our eyes, and we're just going to take a moment to check in and to find the breath. So we're inhaling through the nose, exhaling out the mouth. Letting the exhales be an audible sigh. through the nose, exhaling through the nose. So in and out through the nose. Letting both the inhale and the exhale be about the same length. Let's also turn our attention to the body and just stand through it. Move from the head to the toes. Go one part at a time just to see how you're feeling physically today. And as you're scanning, if you find a part of the body that you want to be gentle with today, just make a mental note of that part of the body. You can even place your hand on that part. Just to really remind yourself to let it guide you through the practice today. Modify for it as you need to. I'm going to give you alignment that you know your body the best. So don't do anything that hurts today. And then on our next inhale, sweep both arms up. We'll exhale hands to the heart. And just continuing with the breath. So next inhale. On the exhale, we'll sit to chair. Sweeping arms out in front of us. We'll inhale back up. Just continuing with the breath. Let me know if the music's too loud or if you can't hear me. Good, on our next inhale, bring just the right arm up, and we'll add a stretch through the side of the body. We'll exhale back to chair, left arm on the next inhale. And just continuing from side to side. if you're just joining us. Let's find one more on both sides here. Oh, look, words! <laughs> I didn't know that. Okay, so we'll inhale both arms up. Good, on this next inhale, we're going to take one leg out to the side as we come up. Exhale back to chair. Left leg on the next inhale. Good, switching side to side. This is really good for the core. Also, for some reason, it always makes my shoulders extra tired, <laughs> which I think is random. One more on both sides. Good. And then let's exhale. Let's release the arms for a moment. And let's step out with feet so there about hip socket. 
uh, distance. So ankles and knees, sorry, wider than hip socket distance. I meant mat width. Good, and we're gonna find uh, another inhale. Exhale to a wide leg chair. We're gonna stay here, so we're gonna find a standing cat cow. So bring your hands to your thighs, fingers turning in. And I'm gonna turn this way so you can see it. We're gonna work the twerk muscles, <laughs> if you wanna call them that. Uh, but we're gonna start with cat. So start down at the tailbone, we're gonna round through the spine. So we're working up to the head. Inhale, curve through the spine. Again, still starting at the tailbone, working up. Good, going with the breath at your own pace. Find one more through both. Coming back to neutral spinal so inhale up. Ah! Don't hit your here like I did because it looked scary. <laughs> Hello, not yet. Welcome. All right, let's step out a little wider. So now we're about a wingspan base. So turn toes out, tuck heels in. We're going to find a moonflower. So we'll inhale arms up. On the exhale, we'll come down to a squat, drawing elbows in towards the spine and ribs. Inhale back up. And just continue with the breath. Good, let's find one more. And then let's switch to a sunflower. So bending the knees, then we're gonna hinge forward a little bit. We'll sweep the arms down in front of us, we'll tilt back and we'll inhale up. All right, so going with the breath, always at your own pace. And welcome to anyone who's just now joining us. Uh, I haven't mentioned the um, goal, our cosplay yoga goal. We're actually really close to it. And once we hit it, I will do a practice as a character. Teach it as that character. Probably Harley Quinn or Bellatrix at this point. Maybe I'll add somebody else. You guys can pick. So let's find one more beast. Leaning back at our inhale. Exhale, hands to the heart. Let's step out back in with the feet. Let's make it mat width again. We're gonna find a twist. So everything from the belly down is gonna stay forward. We're gonna focus on isolating. So take a moment, we're gonna turn the sternum first to one side or the other, head comes around last. And then from here, go to the other side. Good, you can smooth this out, but really try and focus on keeping the hips, the belly, everything below grounded. You can smooth it out. But I'm letting that be a hard stop for me. The belly's not turning, the hips aren't turning. Find the breath here too, inhale one way, exhale the other, however is comfortable, just make sure you're breathing. One more both directions and we'll come back to center. Let's step back in so we are hip socket distance now and we'll inhale both arms up and on an exhale we're going to swan dive. So we'll come all the way down forward fold and uh, let's actually reverse swan dive. Let's inhale, let's come back up, bend the knees, come up. Exhale, swan dive back down. We're just going to flow like this a few times. more. We'll meet back at our forward fold here. Let's step back uh, to down dog. 
And let's alternate heel press here. So we're pressing down on one heel, bending the other knee, switching back and forth, going slow, going with the breath. Continue that for just a moment. From here, let's drop the knees to the mat. Come back to child's pose for just a moment. We can rock side to side, massage the hips if you'd like. And this is always our rest pose for our practice. So if you need to rest at any point for any reason, please feel free to come to this pose. Come back to down dog. You can alternate heel press a few more times here. And then let's inhale forward to plank and we're going to flow through a side plank flow. So for this, on an inhale, we're going to flip onto the right side, sweep the left hand to the sky, come back to plank, inhale, switch sides. Good, so continue with the breath from side to side. We're stacking or staggering the feet. I find staggering a little easier like this. This is our turning to the blade of the foot each time. Find one more on both sides. Even. Good. And then let's press back to down dog. Oh boy. All right. From here, we can walk or step to the top of the mat. On an inhale, let's reverse swan dive. We'll come all the way up. And then let's exhale the chair. So step back right into the heels and hips. And we're going to switch to a sun citation. So inhale, arms up. Exhale, swan dive, come all the way down. Inhale, lift halfway to monkey. Hands on the mat or the shins, torso's coming about halfway up. Exhale, step back to child pose, or if you know the full version, feel free to do it now. Otherwise, so let me do this kneeling version. We'll inhale forward to kneeling plank, shoulders over wrists, hips past knees. Shift the body weight forward a little bit more. Bend elbows to crocodile on the exhale. Then release hips and belly to the mat. Just use the core to lift the shoulders into low cobra. Good. Exhale, knee with the hips. Keep the back flat as you come back to child pose. We'll step to the tops of our mats into forward fold. And on the inhale, we'll reverse. Swan dive. We'll exhale, chair. Good. Inhaling back up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, down dog or child pose, your choice. Inhale to a plank, on or off the knees. Shift forward onto the toes. Exhale, crocodile, on or off the knees. And then inhale, pull the belly button through, flip over the feet for up dog or low cobra. And exhale back to down dog or child pose. Uh, then we can hop, step, or walk to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Exhale, chin. Hi, Maru. She is, I know it's rude. Let's do one more. Inhale, back up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, move. Exhale, down dog or child pose. Your choice. Inhale to a plank. Shift forward, exhale the crocodile. Shift forward, inhale up dog or cobra. Exhale back to down dog or child pose. And then we can hop step or walk to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Good, exhale chair. Inhale back up. Let's exhale back to chair, we'll hold the pose. Good, arms out at the heart or on the thighs for supported chair. We'll hold here. Focus on the breath. Go 
man, I'm gonna be tired today. I have two more yoga classes to teach later. <laughs> My own fault. No worries, Maureen. Thanks for stopping by. Good, so next inhale, we're gonna step back with the right foot for a high crescent lunge. The back heel is lifted, both toes are forward. And then from here, we're gonna find fist to fire. So we've done this before, we'll inhale both arms up. Exhale, bring your hands to the fist like you're pulling a bar down. Exhale, pull the hands down to your hips. Inhale back up, and again, exhale. We'll continue this. find one more. Good, then from here we're going to switch to warrior two. I'll actually turn around, but first we're going to turn hips open to the long edge of the mat. We're readjusting the back foot so it's about parallel to the short edge. Left knee, left toes are pointed forward. Left knee is bent. Arms are at shoulder height. Good, take a moment to adjust here and then we're going to add some movement. So an arch, flowing archer arm. We're going to bring the back arm up. On an inhale, we're going to pull bow. Good. So exhale, we come forward, inhale, pull the bow. Good. Just going with the breath. At your own pace, we're going to add the leg. So on the next inhale, we're going to straighten out the leg as we pull. Exhale, bend the knee. Good. Just with the breath. Find one more, and then we're going to hold this pose. This is going to be an archer arm. So front knee is bent. This right hand is going to stay at the shoulder, so we're bent at the elbow. Good. Holding here, reaching from elbow to the left fingertips. So I can already feel the heat. Good. Let's find one more deep breath. Exhale, we're going to release the arms, and we're going to pinwheel to the mat. So back hand over the head, peel the back hand off the mat, come down to a lunge. Let's step back to that foot. Take a moment here to breathe into the legs and the back. And move through a vinyasa. So we'll inhale forward to forward knee or plank. Shift forward, exhale forward knee or crocodile. Shift forward, inhale up dog or look cobra. And exhale back to down dog or child pose. Good. Then from here we can either hop step or walk to the top of the mat. Forward fold. On the inhale, traverse slum dive. Exhale chair. We'll hold the pose. Good. Find those deep breaths. I'm going to turn this way. This is the direction I will need to be. Good. Nice to inhale. Step back to the left foot for our high crescent lunge. So back heels lifted. Both toes are forward. We'll find fists of fire. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, pull the fist down to the hips. Go with the breath. Adjust the back foot so it's about parallel to the short edge of the mat. Hips are open to the long edge of the mat. 
Right knee, right toe, stay pointed forward. Right knee is bent, arms at shoulder height. We'll move with just the arms through our arch or arm first. So exhale as you bring that arm up, inhale, pull up. Good, going with your breath. We'll add the leg, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend the knee. With the breath. Good, let's meet. And our next archer arm will stay here, front knee bent. Ooh, breathe deep. Oh man, my arms are tired. All right. All right, next. Exhale, to release the arms, come wheels to the mat. Back hand over the head. Feel the back heel off the mat, come down to the lunge. Let's step back to down dog. Take a few deep breaths here. Let's move through vinyasa to start in down dog or child pose. Inhale to full or kneeling plank. Shift forward, exhale, full or kneeling crocodile. Shift forward, inhale, up dog or little cobra. Exhale, back to down dog or child pose. The next inhale, come forward to plank, put pose here. A few deep breaths. Two. Take this to side plank. Flip onto that right side, sweep the left hand to the sky. You could also place the left foot in front of you if you want. Find a few deep breaths. Good, I have to come down, exhale my wrist, demand it, switch sides, inhale, keep the right arm up. Again, left leg can go, or right leg can go in front if you want. I'll do that, I guess, so we're even. Next exhale, come back to plank, press back, keep down, done. We can either, actually, let's uh, sweep the right leg straight up and up. Take just a few deep breaths here. Breathing into the left leg. Next exhale, draw the right knee to the chest. We'll lift. We'll step through to a lunge. Ooh, I'm going to roll these wrists out a little bit. Use that too if you would like. Good. Then let's readjust the back foot for warrior two. So it's about parallel to the short edge of the mat. Front knees bent, grab the wheel back up. Left arm and then the right. Good. Once here, we're going to reverse warrior. So turn this right palm up, reach forward, come up and back to reverse warrior. Holding here, sinking down into the lunge. This left hand is going to go behind the back for a half bind. So just wherever it wants to go, just behind the back. Sink down into this lunge. We are looking for the stretch through that right side. Good. Now we're going to flow. So first of all, we're going to take it slow. We're going to come down to a side angle. So this right forearm is resting lightly on the right side. We'll inhale back up to this reverse warrior. All right. So just going with the breath at your own pace. angle here we're going to stay in the pose good so this pose is very much about the core try not to put all your weight in that right arm keep the right palm up like you're holding a platter good next exhale so release this arm we're slowly going to turn to face the mat picking up the back heel let's step back to that lunge i'm sorry two down dog lunge. 
the top of the head. Good. Next exhale. Gently release. We're just going to turn to face the mat, finding the lunge, taking up the back heel. Let's step back to down dog. Take a moment here to breathe into the legs and back.
find one more deep breath. And the exhale, gently turn back to center. Release that leg, shake them out if you'd like. I'll turn this way for this one. So weight and balance to the left foot. Draw the right knee up again, knee is in line with the hip, foot is flexed. Long spine, when you're ready, belly goes first to the right, head last. Both hands to that right side, could open the right arm out behind you or place it on the hip. So just holding here. Good. Next exhale, let's turn back to center, release the legs, shake around if you like. Cool boy, we're going to see if we can get this music to come down a little bit. All right, so from here, we're going to step back, uh, so we're open to the long edge of the mat. Find about a wingspan base on the feet, toes are turned out, heels are tucked in a bit. Bend knees, inhale, arms up, exhale, swan dive down, standing straddle splits. And then we have some options here, so we're looking for the stretch in the hips, uh, but we want to make sure the spine stays straight. So for that, you can keep toes and knees turned out with knees bent. That takes pressure off the legs and in turn the back. The straightening the legs out today seems comfortable. Pigeon toe for straight legs. So turn toes in for that option. You can also use something under the hands for extra lift. Or from the straight leg option, if it feels like there's more room for stretch, you can hinge from the hips and come in deep into the pose as you'd like. Just keep the spine straight. Good. Good. Find those deep breaths. Let's see if this ever comes down a bit. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Probably gonna have to find a different playlist. That's all right. All right, next inhale, go ahead and come back up to parallel to the mat. Turn toes and knees out if they're not already, and let's walk around to the right. We're gonna turn feet into a lunge. We're gonna drop the back knee. Feel free to add cushion underneath it if you would like. I'm gonna use blocks here because that's helpful for me. You can always place your hands on something. We're gonna sink the hips forward so we can get a stretch in this back hip flexor. Back left foot can be flat or the toes can be curled under. Your choice. Let's find those nice deep breaths here. We are looking to stretch this hip flexor. Let's see. to this. So keep the hips coming forward as much as feels comfortable for you. Then when you're ready on an inhale, we're just going to sweep the arms up and we're going to hold here. So we're reaching up through the heart. We've added a back bend. You could also have hands on this front side. Having them up is not comfortable for you today. Just breathing deep. Next, exhale, gently release the arms back down. We're going to switch to our hands for a stretch. We're going to take the hips back, straightening out the front leg without locking the knee. Make sure this left hip doesn't go past that left knee just so we can protect the joint. 
And then this right foot can be flat, or you can flex the foot lifting toes off the mat for a little more intensity. But just make sure this knee doesn't lock. Spine remains straight, and you can always draw the torso a little bit closer to the legs. Oh, no. We'll try this. <laughs> Good, next exhale, let's bend this right knee, let's come back forward. We're gonna pick up the back knee and we're just gonna switch sides. So we're gonna walk all the way around, turning the feet to a lunge. We'll drop the back knee and then sink the hips forward so we can stretch this back hip flexor. Good, from here, let's add our back bend. And this time we're gonna sweep arms behind us for chest expansion. So clasp the hands or hold an imaginary beach ball, or you can still keep hands on the front side if you need to. Just find those deep breaths, keep the hips coming forward. You can turn your gaze to the sky, just don't crunch the neck. our hamstring stretch so we're taking the hips back straightening out this front leg without locking the knee foot can be flat or flexed make sure the spine is straight you can always draw the torso closer to the legs but keep the spine straight so it's not about getting the forehead to the shin which is a common thing we want to see but it, it uh we can transfer the stretch to the low back if we don't really want this pose Of this right hand it's not between the hands it's outside the line of the body and this back foot you can shift yourself forward or back here as you need and then you can stay up on your hands or you can drop down the forearms we're looking for the stretch in this right outer hip and glute try to avoid sinking to one hip or the other as that can twist the joints and just find those deep breaths right hand too tight right here okay
let's find two more deep breaths. Next inhale, we'll come back onto our hands. If we're not already, curl the back toe under, lift the hips, and you can shake the right leg out to your in three legged down dog. And then we're gonna switch sides. I'm gonna do it this way this time so you can see it from the front. Hopefully. So whenever you're ready, on an inhale, sweep the left leg straight up and back. Exhale, draw the knee towards the left pinky finger. Inhale, come back. Exhale. One more time. We're going to stay here this time. So again, see how the left knee is outside of my left hand? That's what we want. Scoot back as far as I can so you guys can hopefully see it. And then we'll hold here. And again, you can drop down the forearms. You can stay up on your hands, whatever feels comfortable for you. I'm also on the side of my leg, I'm not on the shin, which is where that stretches as well. And again, avoid sinking to one hip or the other. Ooh, my foot itches. One more deep breath. On the next inhale, let's come back onto our hands. We'll curl the back toe under. I'm not sure this way. You can shake the leg out. And then from here, let's drop knees to the mat. Let's come back to child's pose. We'll take a moment. Next inhale, let's come back to all fours. We're gonna sink hips to one side and swing the feet around, placing them flat on the mat. Actually, I'll show it this way. And then once here, we'll place both hands behind one leg, so we're gonna move to our backs. So use that leverage to come all the way back to the mat. And once here, we're gonna to switch to bridge. So find the ankles and knees in line with the hips. Obviously, actually, we're not gonna do bridge. Instead, let's come to knees to chest. We already did our back leg today, so we don't need to do it here. Let's actually make this legs up the wall instead. So we'll take soles of the feet to the sky, ankles stack over hips. Now you have options here. You can either just stay here and let this be a restful pose, or you can add some core work. For the core work, we'll place hands behind the head, interlacing fingers. On an exhale, we'll use the core to lift the head and shoulders up off the mat, and on the inhale, we'll release. All right, and just going with the breath, if you're taking the core work option, Give yourself time to take the full inhale and exhale. One more if we're moving through the core work. And then let's release to the mat. Let's take a few moments here just to rise up the wall. And then let's bring knees back to knees to chest. And we're going to roll onto the left side. And we're going to switch to a twist. So we're going to let the right shoulder open back to the mat behind us. I'm just releasing into this pose. For more intensity, extend the legs out. For less, keep the knees bent. It's your choice.
try this one. Wow, nope. Here we go. Right next, actually, let's come back to center <laughs> and let's switch sides. We're gonna roll onto the right side. Let the left shoulder open to the mat behind you. Release into the twist. that's comfortable you can lay flat in shavasana or you can find any other pose that's comfortable for you but just turn your attention back to the breath and on the exhales letting the body release into the mat and knowing that it's not about finding a perfect place. It doesn't need to be perfectly quiet. It's just about being present with what is. Let yourself hear what you hear. Maybe you can hear cars outside or, or the weather. Maybe it's raining. Maybe you can hear a clock. And just notice the breath as it moves through the body. If you catch the mind wandering, just bring it back to the senses and to your surroundings.
start to wiggle fingers and toes. Add wrists and ankles, rotating them around. And let's stretch our arms over our heads, reaching through the body. And we can add the face, opening the eyes wide, and the mouth sticking out the tongue, taking a deep exhale. And then let's roll on to one side. And we can use our hands to bring ourselves up to a seated position. And then once here, let's inhale both arms up, exhaling hands to the heart, and just taking a moment to check in at the end of our practice. Thank you all for joining me this morning and sharing your practice with me. Namaste.